fun to be working in something that no one, um, we don't really have any competitors, you know, in the world. In this ordinary brown building on the campus of the University of Utah. We're, we're kind of the only people doing this, and even if other people are thinking about it, we're just so far out in front of everyone. Like the scene out of a classic 90s movie. It just isn't the contingency we've remotely looked at. Well, I suggest you gentlemen invent a way to put a square peg in a round hole. An unprecedented scientific breakthrough could clean up the cosmos. We have a big space junk problem that's sort of off everyone's radar. Pun intended. Jake Abbott, a professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering at the U, says it's a huge issue. We're putting objects up in space way faster than they're naturally falling out of space and burning up in the atmosphere. And over time, that just increases the risk that things are going to accidentally collide together in some super destructive way, potentially. Last year, the International Space Station had to fire its thrusters. It's Draco thruster firings. To avoid space junk in its orbit around Earth. Puts our satellites in danger. It puts the space station in danger. It puts human missions in danger. Jake it, uh, has dedicated years to solving this problem. It's very thin-walled and spread out, but he can manipulate this object as well as he can a solid sphere. How to capture objects considered uncollectible. So for years, we've been using magnetic fields to manipulate things without touching them. Amazing, and it never touches it. It never touches it, yeah. But those things have always been magnetic. But all the stuff in space, it's mostly made of aluminum, some titanium. This is all non-magnetic metals. These items are rotating and quickly. So it just zero to 60. The trick is to be able to interact with the debris to slow it down, move it, and eventually have it burn up in orbit. Enter the omni-magnet. So this, you see, this is a big, strong, permanent magnet here. Mm -hmm. And if I, if I touch this, it's not magnetic. It doesn't want to stick to it. So at first it seems sort of hopeless. Jake showed me a simplistic way of how it works. But it turns out if you think about magnetic fields dynamically rather than statically, I can use this magnet when I rotate it to push on something. It, basically we figured out a way to model the forces and torques that these spinning magnets create on pieces of aluminum and other metals that aren't magnetic. And then using math, we basically figure out what all of the different magnets should do to make that thing move the way we want it to move. It's amazing. It sounds simple when you explain it to me, but this took years to figure out. It took years to figure out, and it, and it took us, you know, sort of fighting against existing paradigms that you can't manipulate non-magnetic metals with magnets. But you can. The Omni Magnet has gotten the attention of aerospace company Rogue, and the implications extend beyond space sanitation. To quote another classic line from a different 90s movie. To infinity and beyond! They would like to have this in space within just a couple of years. And that's, the, that's what we're working toward. How exciting is it? It is exciting. I really think this will be a big focus of my research for the foreseeable future.